Hey everyone, so I wanted to do a flip through of this new planner setup. About a month ago, I moved into half letter discs. I really think that half letter is probably the perfect size for me and I'll get into the different reasons why. So right now I have my half letter discs in a Motrin cover. But this is actually the cover for A5 bookbound planners like the Hobonichi Cousin. I ended up trying out my half letter discs in here because as I showed over on Instagram, I did buy the Motrim cover for half letter discs and it was so much bigger. So I didn't like that. I like this compact size. The only adjustment I really had to make in this is using top tab dividers. I was using side tabs and it would just stick out a little bit and at first that didn't really bother me but then it started to bother me so I moved to top tab dividers. I love these dividers. I'll link all these items down in the description box below and then I just used some tabs here you'll see on the side for like subsections. So yeah, I really, really like this cover a lot. Just a little disclaimer that I'm using 0.75 inch discs, so it fits very nicely. I feel like if you use any bigger of discs, it won't fit as well. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about using this A5 cover. So yeah, I really like this cover. It had a little like string because for bookbound planners, I guess that's the bookmark. I just cut that off. And then let me show you the pockets first. So here in this front pocket, I have this envelope from Cloth and Paper, which I got in one of my orders. And I just put my stickers in there. I've always done that, kept my most used stickers right inside my planner. And then these pockets are pretty bare. I just have some Simply Gilded washi. I have this little acetate and put my favorite smaller size sticky notes on. And then I have just some grid sticky notes, which I use all the time. In this front pocket here, I have just some note paper. And then this pocket here is just empty for now. So then the front cover of my planner setup is, it's actually one of these dividers and I just cut off the tab to use like to protect my dashboard. And then I have this Ollie clip holding it together, but I have this pocket page from cloth and paper and I put some Polaroids in here. So I'm using this as a vision board. So here are things to motivate me. So every time I open my planner, I see these right away. And then on the back, I just put some pictures of my family. And then here, as I've always done, I have my goals bundle slash master plan bundle here right in the front of my planner. And this is where I have my goals and my planning routines and things like that. So I'll go over these sections in more detail detail in other videos. For today, I'll just do like a brief flip through. So I have yearly goals and routines, monthly, weekly, daily routines that I do either on a daily or weekly basis, and then my cleaning routines. When I plan out my month, weeks, and days, I follow this master plan. So then my next sections are my yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily dividers. So here in the yearly, I just have my year overview to track my periods and as reference calendar. I track my spending for occasions like birthdays and holidays. I track some fundraising things for my daughter's school and volunteer hours for my daughter's school. I also track some business things. I put a blank insert in here because of privacy, but I do have this all filled out. I fill it out every month. And that's all I keep in my yearly section, just mainly tracking things and making sure I'm on track for these certain things. And then my next section is my monthly section. So I just have the current month spread in here. And then I have this insert, which I just made for myself for planning out my monthly subs. Here on the back of that page is just some more like tracking for the subs. This page here is like for menu planning. So I just write down the things that we usually eat and then I can stick it on my weekly planner here, which I'll show you in a minute. And then because I only keep one month spread in here, I keep this insert in here for anything that comes up in any future months. I just jot it down here. And then this is my weekly section. So like I said, this is where I'm doing meal planning with those sticky notes. 
my weekly spread and then I keep one month's worth so four weeks of weekly spreads in here on the back of my weekly spread I just have a running to-do list and the next is my daily section here I just put notes for customer service and then I have my daily pages so these are the past days and then this little page flag marks the current day. I have this blank note page just for extra notes. And I keep a month's worth of daily inserts in here. And then I just change it out at the end of the month. So then my next set of inserts are health, family, business, and budget. The first section is health, and I just keep current projects that I'm working on, like active projects I'm working on in these different categories. So this is just a running list of recipes I wanna try. If any other projects, like maybe doctor's visits or something like that comes up, then I have some blank pages behind that. And then in my family section, this is the current project. My daughter is going to do a service trip to Nicaragua so I had to prepare some things and then for business right now I'm really working on my taxes and getting that all set and done so my budget section I'm not really going to show a lot of this because it has super personal information this first page here I just put this in new because I want to track some certain things for spending and then back here I have some budgeting inserts I made for myself because I like to keep track on paper and have it always on hand the page lifter which is actually again another one of these dividers that I cut the top tab off just for protection and then in this cloth and paper envelope I usually keep receipts but I'm caught up on those receipts that I need to log here in my budgeting stuff this receipt here is a receipt that I already logged but hasn't went through our bank account so I just keep it here to remind me well, I have some tabs here which just mark subsections within my main dividers so things I need to flip to regularly these tabs here like bring me to the current week or to the current day so that's how I use my side tabs plus they're super cute and then here I have my uniball one pen in 0.38 tip so yeah that's the flip through I've been loving half letters so much because of the space that I get in this size like the monthly spread I really like having this because then I can plan out production and different projects and I have so much more space than I had in my personal size and then also like my weekly section I love having one column for every day because in personal size, I had to stack Saturday and Sunday, which I didn't like. I like having a separate column for every day. So just the space of half letter has been so great. And then finally, one of the biggest benefits of being in half letter, which I learned from Plan to Create. Hi, Julie, if you're watching. She has been a big proponent of half letter size because of printing and cutting your own inserts this is basically one sheet of paper and all i had to do was print it and then cut it right down the middle and that's it it has made printing and cutting inserts so crazy easy and i don't dread printing and cutting inserts anymore so that is a huge plus of half letter so yeah i've been really loving half letter i don't see myself moving out of this size anytime soon if you have any questions about my setup then feel free to leave a comment below or send me an email i'm also going to film some videos going through each section one by one in better detail so stay tuned for those videos thanks so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time bye